What's up everybody, the Fish Tank Guy here, and today we're going to talk about recharging Puragen. Now, I have Puragen in my BioCube because it helps eliminate um, various organic compounds and things that float around in the water and will keep your ammonia and your nitrites and your nitrates at a minimum. Um, you know, the live rock does a lot of that, but it's helpful to have some, some form of uh, chemical filtration as well, which is what my Puragen serves as. So, my tank has been up for roughly five months. The instructions on the Puragen say that the Puragen product can last up to six months before needing recharged. But I kind of noticed I was getting a little more algae. The water wasn't quite as clear as it usually is. And sure enough, the Puragen was this color. Uh, it might be hard to see. It's kind of a tannish, a tannish brown color. Now, for comparison purposes here, you look this is brand new Puragen. It's very bright white. And the used Puragen is a, like I said, brown tannish color. And that means that it's time to recharge it. So that's the nice thing about Puragen is that you don't necessarily have to buy Puragen over again right away. Um, I believe you can recharge it, I think they said up to 10 times. It loses its potency every time you recharge it. So. You don't want to try to stretch it too thin, but you can at least recharge it a few times before you get some new, uh, get some new, or you know, buy a new bottle, or whatever. So the this this video is going to be broken up into two parts. Not really for you; it'll be one part, but for me, it'll take place over two days because essentially what you have to do is you have to take your Puragen out of your media bag, which I already have done. I put it in a glass container, a glass bowl here. And I drained out a good bit of the water. There's still some water in there, but it's it's hard to get it to get it all out without losing the puragen and whatnot. Uh, I held a paper towel up to the bottom of it and let a bunch of the water kind of drain out through the paper towel. So what I what I'm left with is going to be good enough for now. So the first step in the process is to simply mix up a one to one ratio of bleach to water and soak the puragen in that mix. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm going to I'm going to pour this. I'm going to, sorry, I'm trying to pour and pay attention here at the same time. I'm going to try to try to get that what's off the rim there. All right. Ooh, look at it mix. Very cool. Let's see. I got a little bit more. Let's see. Can I, get that? Can I get it without spilling? Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that is the first step in the process. And now at this point, I basically have to let the Puragen soak for 24 hours. So uh, after the cut, we'll see what it looks like. After it is soaked for 24 hours, then we'll talk about what to do next. Okay, so it's a day later. And as you can see, even before I zoom in, the Puragen is completely white at this point. So let's get, get up close here. See if I can't. There we go. I got it focused. And I'll just, just to compare. It actually even looks whiter than what's in the, in the um, bottle here. I think that's just the, the lighting. But um, so as you can see, the 24 hours of the bleach did did very well uh, for the Puragen. So the next step is to actually drain drain the water from the bowl uh, as best you can without losing too much of the Puragen, which I'll do now. And then when I come back from the cut, I'll talk about what to do next. Okay, now I've drained the water. It actually took quite a while because you have to pour really slowly, um, so the Puragen doesn't doesn't tend to float out of the bowl as you're pouring, but the next step is to take C Chem or C C C Chem, sorry, C Chem's product called Prime, and pour it into the bowl until it has basically covered the Puragen. Um, at that point, you'll want to add a little water, and again, we're going to have to wait for 24 hours because we need this to soak very good or very well. Um, basically, what Prime does is it detoxifies ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates 
it removes chlorine and chloramine and um, it's basically used to neutralize and eliminate any traces of the bleach that we used because <clears throat> obviously introducing bleach into your salt water tank would be bad so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some prime in now and I'll come back real quick to show you how much I have in there with the water and we'll have to let it sit again for a whole day okay so just briefly I put enough prime in to essentially uh, have a thin layer of water covering the pier or have a thin layer of liquid covering the pyrogen and then I added some water to get it to the point of where it's at right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait 24 hours and then we're going to come back and take the next steps to making sure that our pyrogen is ready to be put back into our tank. Okay, we're back and after letting the pyrogen soak in the prime water mix for about 24 hours, I actually drained it out and flushed it with water two more times so I drained out the prime water filled it up with just water drained it out again filled it up with just water again and lastly I filled it up with water and a little bit of prime not the full amount of prime that I used the first time just to make sure that all of the bleach and the chemicals that are within the bleach are neutralized and can no longer cause any harm to the tank when I put the purigen back in so the last step in the process is to drain the purigen, uh, you know, the best I can, um, the most water out of it possible. Kind of let it dry out a little bit for, you know, maybe a, a few hours, and then scoop it into a Ziploc sealed bag because you don't want it to dry out all the way because that can actually cause some of the purigen to break down, but you don't want it to be super soupy. Alright, so here's just a quick view of the final product. I have my newly recharged Purigen in a Ziploc baggie. There's a little moisture in there so it doesn't dry out. And when the Purigen that I have in my tank right now needs recharged, I'll simply be able to pop this right in there and I'll be good to go. So, hopefully this video was helpful in showing you how to recharge Purigen safely so you can put it back into your aquarium and I'm the fish tank guy please comment eh, give me your opinions and all that jazz in the comment section below and if you haven't yet subscribed I would appreciate it if you would do so alright till the next video peace